The best reason to buy a Mac Mini over something like an iMac is that you can decide exactly which peripherals you want to use with it. Let's take a look at some of the options you've got available and empower you to build your dream Mac Mini setup. Of course, one thing that you definitely can't upgrade at a later date is the Mac Mini itself. So before you even start thinking about keyboards and monitors, make sure you've got the right specs for the job that you need to do. And here there are three major decisions. First of all, the chipset. Do you want to get the baseline M2 model or do you want to go for the M2 Pro that's going to give you a couple more ports on the back and a lot more power for more hefty computing tasks? Secondly, are you going to stick with the base RAM or do you want to bump that up? And in most cases, I would definitely recommend that you do pay a little bit extra to get 16 gigabytes of RAM because that's just going to future proof your device and make it run a lot smoother no matter what you're doing. And thirdly, how much internal storage do you need? This is something I want to touch on a little bit later when we look at external storage options. But if you do feel like you don't want to get involved in any of that and you just want to be set for life with your Mac Mini, then definitely consider bumping up the internal storage. Okay, so you've got your Mac Mini sorted. Now it's time to select a monitor. And I think for a lot of people, this is probably the most exciting thing to buy because it's how you're gonna experience it, right? With visual people. And we want a monitor that's gonna showcase all of the things we're doing on our computer in a beautiful way. When selecting a monitor, I think the first thing that a lot of people are gonna home in on are the size and the aspect ratio, as well as general ergonomic features, like whether it's got an adjustable stand, of course, there are many other features and settings that are gonna have a big impact on how you actually use your computer. So before you just dive in and buy the first 4K monitor that you see on Amazon, really think about what you actually need. If you plan to game on your Mac Mini, then you'll want to know the refresh rate as well as the response time to make sure that you are able to actually keep up with the gameplay. And if you're doing creative work, all of that is very interesting, but you also need to know whether it's got good color accuracy and whether you're gonna need a glossy or a matte finish, especially if you're sat next to a window. You'll want to make sure that it's got enough connectivity for the devices that you use. And when you're done with all of that, there are tons of smart features that are built into monitors these days, whether that's the studio display that has advanced support for Mac OS or something a little less expensive like the Samsung M8 that comes crammed with lots of smart TV features that can make your monitor double up as a TV in something like a student dorm. Okay, let's take a breather because that's a lot of different features you need to weigh up when buying a monitor. Something that's maybe a lot more fun to look at, a little bit less stress inducing, is the keyboard that you want to use. And here there's basically one big decision that you need to make. Do you want to go with the standard Apple Magic keyboard for its brilliant compatibility with your Mac Mini, the premium aluminium feel, and just the general sleek aesthetic? Or do you want to do something a little bit more custom and go with something like a mechanical keyboard where you can optimize the switch types, the keys themselves, and just the general look and feel of your desk setup? I actually love both options and depending on the kind of work that you want to do as well as whether you like having a bit more tactility and auditory feedback when you're typing away at your computer, I think you could go with either and be really happy. The big question is then, do you want to pair that keyboard with a trackpad, the Apple Magic Mouse, or again, another kind of gaming or productivity mouse that you get from a brand like Logitech? I think this is really just a matter of taste for a lot of people. I know that some people who pair their iPad with a second screen love to use a trackpad because it gives them a bit more of a native experience across both devices. I'm personally more of a mouse fan because it's just what I've grown up using and it's what I'm comfortable getting through the day with. But my mouse of choice is definitely the MX Master 3S, which gives me a lot of additional features like horizontal scrolling and customizable button clicks that just help getting through video editing or even Excel spreadsheets. It's definitely worth looking around at the different options you've got and especially if you are going to be doing some gaming on the Mac Mini. Picking up a gaming mouse with a much higher dots per inch than something that's more standard is going to give you a lot more responsiveness when you're actually playing some of those games. As we mentioned earlier, once you've picked your Mac Mini, you can no longer upgrade the internal storage and that could lead you to some performance issues down the line. But there are two kinds of external memory options that are gonna help you to get more out of your computer than it has come with in the box. If you wanna keep files safe on a disk for a long time and you're not gonna be accessing them too much, 
then consider getting a hard disk drive like the one terabyte one I've got behind me there, which is just gonna keep things in a safe place out of the way for a long time. It's a great place to store a backup of things like wedding photos or even your entire computer with something like Time Machine. And if your Mac mini ever gets damaged, then at least you've got everything stored on a pretty safe space elsewhere. If, however, you want to save some files externally that you're going to be accessing quickly and often, that's things like video games, then saving them on an external SSD is a great option because it means that your Mac mini is gonna be able to access those files without doing too much RAM swapping within the internal memory. Listen, your Mac mini is gonna have a much easier time with all that kind of stuff if you keep it in good condition. Clean My Mac 10 is an affiliate partner of this channel, and that's a piece of software that I use on a regular basis to just scan my computer for large files that I haven't deleted, and even doing scans for viruses and other privacy threats on my computer that I might not otherwise be aware of. There's a link in the description below. See what it can do for your performance. Of course, there are tons more items and accessories that can really jazz up your Mac mini setup. We haven't even spoken about which webcam you might wanna get. For a bit more inspiration in that area, then check out this video next, and I'll see you in a bit.